morning everybody uh, we are planning uh, we are on a trip to Galifu in Bhutan and uh, it's 9 45 now and we are we will be reaching there in a, hopefully another five hours we are going from Guwahati from here it will take to around five hours and entire family of ours is going we have Aishman there it's up to me and we have my father here okay. and then we have Vishwajit also here and then we are all going and uh, we'll try to show you whatever happens on the way and we'll also try to guide you how you can reach there and what you can enjoy there so hopefully uh, you'll enjoy with us in California we are taking a trip from uh, Beltola area and we'll take this highway through Jalukbari and go to Galifu through Beng Bengtong and uh, on the way I just heard that we also have some rah and some festivals we'll try to uh, look through and uh, try to give you a f experience along with us so enjoy our trip you can see that Guwahati is becoming very green. We have beautiful trees coming up on both the sides of the highway and we'll go through Rongya. And uh, now we are almost approaching Jalukbari. So through that, through Jalukbari, we'll go towards, towards Rongya. So uh, through Baihata Sariali. And so keep going with us. So we are approaching Bhupen Hazarika's Omadi Khetra here in Jalukbari. This is the place where he was cremated. So we have beautiful greenery all around in Assam. So we are going slowly towards that beautiful place. Now it has almost become like a sort of pilgrimage where people come and visit. So we are approaching that area and we are in traffic and this particular we are here. You can see that. The particular road goes through uh, Assam Engineering College. That's the road that leads to Assam Engineering College. Traffic is hiding everything, however. Right. And we are approaching that place. Let's give you a glimpse of the place which is visited by many tourists nowadays. So we take a turn. And we have this huge bridge that's over bridge there, right? And there, that's the you see the peak there, and the white beautiful monument sort of. And that's it. You see the peak there. That's the Open Hazarika's memorial site, and then. This is just on the turning we take to the Guwahati University. That road will lead to the Guwahati University. The chairs there. So we have that. That's it. So we can visit it and you're gonna have a look at many important places. This we have seen beautiful Krishna Sura, uh, you know, when they bloom up, God University looks very, very beautiful. This is the road that leads to Guwahati University. We are approaching the Guwahati University. You should see that during the time of spring when the whole, both the sides are filled with beautiful Krishna Sura plants and then flowering, blooming around and we have the entire place very beautiful then. How beautiful it looks we have that's the medical unit there of the guard university and this is the play, road that leads to that uh, hostel. hostel where I had studied also RCC4 and that's the big playground and the auditor I mean you have this place where stadium. they have stadium there and uh, we are approaching what was originally uh, the, the place where we had the marketplace, we used to call that the marketplace. This is the place, this is a road. We had this, now it's being renovated, the entire thing is being done up, and we are now approaching the 
main administrative building where we have the VC seat. We have the VC's office. That's it. That's the administrative block. So we're just leaving the university. This is the other gate of the university, which you can take as an exit point, and then we'll take a turn and we are going to towards the bridge and from there we'll take a nice turning there towards the bridge that's the university gate from the other side we take a turning and we go towards Skellig Fork so we are now approaching the Horai Ghat bridge and this is the mighty Brahmaputra river. This is the only male river in the in India. And this is the one that we are going. The old one, that's the old one there. And built in 1967. This is the one that we are going now. We are taking now is a new one. Side by side with the old one. And we see this is the mighty Brahmaputra. It's beautiful, see there. And we can see this is, I guess, around 1.7 kilometers long. And we see it's such a beautiful site that we have. And it has really made the entire communication much easier. This road will finally lead us towards Rongya and then Baihata. And then, of course, we are proceeding towards our destination. So keep following us. Just got down for some snacks here. If you can buy some, and then see how beautiful Guwahati is, surrounded by so many uh, hills on all sides. And then, so we're just waiting here for some snacks, might be which we can carry and munch all along. That's our car. And that's the bridge that we have crossed just now. We are taking a village road <laughs> from Bengtol towards the uh, towards our destination, and we can see people harvesting on both the sides of the road. The rice is being grains are being harvested, and we have a proper road that's leading to us. We, on both the sides we have paddy fields and it's a very wonderful site almost like however it's almost like a jungle on some parts in some parts and then we have a very scanty population here not many houses are visible okay those are Assam type houses that you can see in the far we have sloping roofs and then this way we are going we have long big fields there and we are going towards our destination. The road seems proper, except for some uh, uh, some holes and potholes in between. Otherwise, it's a nice place that we are enjoying our ride. And soon we'll be in the gates of Galifu. Uh, we are arriving in a place called Santipur Bazaar. Here we have local products being sold. You can see that. And small merchants. Yes, it's a typical village area in Assam. And we are almost approaching the gate through which we'll enter. We need to ask somebody about where we need to go. 22 kilometers from here, Santipur Bazaar. So we get going. Let's see. So it's an extension of the. Uh, I think it's a small township that we have. Temples <laughs> everywhere, and then we are moving on towards Kalafu. Nice, beautiful atmosphere because of the greenery there. It's nice, and you feel really relaxed, far away from concrete jungles that we are 
moving away from. So then a bridge it's over a riverbed we can say it's a riverbed because we they have flash floods water coming from the mountains and otherwise it's dry we have a dry bed here and we're crossing it the entire river is dry and we are taking a small uh, bridge only and then see we have some water but it's I mean, we have very fast flowing water, but it's not full, and and it, we have flash floods here. Okay, so we have crossed that. It's a long stretch of land, almost the riverbed looks like a stretch of land. And here, I think we are uh, approaching Buddhist areas because we are approaching the road or the gate to Kelifu. Yes. Nice and lush and green and seems beautiful. So we have the flags and a monastery here. Yes, we are approaching the Buddhist land of Bhutan. Yes, these are the border areas. So we have beautiful roads and then we are moving from one country to another. From India to Bhutan. One of the gates that we have reached where we have to enter the names of our cars and the numbers. And then we, I think this is just the beginning, we need to have, we'll have to later on do some more. I mean, we have to write our names later on in other gates. But this is the beginning gate where we are entering the name of the car and then the number of the car. This is the border gate which will give us entry to Bhutan. This is on the Indian side. And we are now entering Bhutan. So here we are into Bhutan and the border areas. So we have small stalls and shops selling daily necessities. Feels almost like India. Okay, so this way. Uh, yeah, I think this is a no man's land, I guess. Yes, I think that's. We have another bigger one, bigger gate there, which is actually will be leading us into Bhutan. So we have to just wait for the car to. We have far away that that is the particular gate which is which will be leading us into Bhutan. This was I think the no man's land. There. So yeah. Small stalls there. Oranges from Bhutan, I guess. We plan to have a lot of them there. So. Yes, we are into our destination. Here again, I guess we need to enter our names and our show ID cards. The voter ID cards are, I mean, they, they look into your voter ID cards or your passports. So you need them, you need to show them before you enter and register your names, your cars. That is the 
is the security area. Searching for the security area. We have to wait till we get our names registered and the car registered too. So we have the Indian vehicle registration there where we enter our regist I mean we enter our names, show our ID cards or your passports and also the car number and then we'll be allowed to enter the gates of Bhutan or California. We are now into the land of Bhutan. We are into Kelebaru. So, yes, we are into Kelebaru. And so we are into Bhutan. We are into Kelebaru. And now my son will continue. So, stay tuned. So we have just got into Bhutan and there is a monastery, a Buddha temple here just uh, after entering. Whenever you come here you have to uh, do the booking first and come. Uh, otherwise you have to wait and they will not let you to enter uh, without the papers and uh, of the hotel. And if they let you to enter then you have to go out by the 5 o'clock. After uh, putting some petrol into the car we have got some Bhutanese nuntrum uh, as, an, as a change this is the Bhutanese currency so now by this way we are heading towards Twin Dragon Resort these are the Bhutanese houses which are very different from our uh, Indian houses This is a cuckoo grand. It's a hotel. And these are some Ministry of Agriculture. Dense forest in the town. These are some houses which are under construction. So we are entering the Twin Resort now. Twin Resort. A Twin Brigon Resort. It's like four kilometers from the point where we get got our name registered and deposited our passports. And that is the resort. You're welcome. So this is our uh, hotel where we will stay overnight. So we have reached our resort, Twin Dragon Resort. So now let's move toward uh, the reception of Twin Dragon Resort. As you can see, this is the Twin Dragon Resort. And there is uh, Indian music being played. So we have checked into Twin Dragon Resort and one of the rooms that we have booked it is room number 113. So let's see how it looks. This is the way it looks. Yes, quite reasonably priced, only 1800 per night. And I think it's quite, uh, you know, you have a lot of space, you have a sofa, it's almost uh, like a suite. And you have uh, almiras, and then we have 
uh, sort of a corridor which lets leads you to your washroom okay if you talk about from the point of view of being Gelefu, which is a very small township and I think it'll be very nice in the evening where we'll have lights I guess and down there we can have some we can have a meal so we can I think we can have our dinner down there so it looks quite good we can see our car there parked there in the small parking so in a way it's a small township and if you're talking about a small township it looks quite good and very reasonably priced and also look at the beautiful rooftop which is done roof uh, done with wood and right I guess it's good yeah. and uh, let's see now we have ordered for some tea and some snacks we reached here we had to really wait for a long time uh, at the gates because we did not have any rooms booked we did not actually know that we had to book our rooms and we couldn't make a contact uh, from India so here we had to wait for almost two hours for the hotel people to be there so that we could really uh, you know get access to um, the Galefu and this is the next room the second room this is also the same uh, two rooms two bed uh, two beds twin beds and it's nice now we'll wait for the it's already almost five o'clock and we'll have to now wait we're waiting for the cups of tea to arrive so that we Hello. can really go for shopping have a nice statue of the Buddha here and we are now approaching the small town of Kelefo where you have small shops there and any type of shopping that you want to do you can have a look here so we do not have street lights many of them I guess but yeah, this is the small town here and small shops to meet your daily needs we will descend and just move around a bit and show you the town of Kelefu. This will be done by Aishman. These are some small lanes uh, in the main town of Kelefu. Uh, these are the shops and we will show you some of the main shops here. Uh, it's very important to par park your car in, a, right in place. the right place. And there will be places shown where you can really park the, your car and otherwise it will be fine. You cannot litter around therefore you can see it's so beautifully clean and we do not have any litters all around. So we are searching for a place to really park our car. Okay fine. The lines there shown. These are the lines where you can park your car. You cannot park your car anywhere wherever you wish to. So we have all the par cars parked properly and these, these are small small uh, shops where you can meet your daily needs and I guess we can do some shopping here. So uh, now I will show you some of the shops which are in the town of Gelefu. Uh, this is the Vivo shop. Uh, this, uh, this particular uh, uh, places mostly of electronics and stationery. Uh, stationery shop. So we'll show you around, moving around. It looks very nice and peaceful. Saloon. These are some small shops uh, which are there. Uh, we are approaching a small shop. Uh, small shop. These are some bags which are here. These are very uh, nice shops uh, and where we 
get the things for um, very less by the cheap. This is. Uh, I'll show you some more shops. Bag. It is completely full of bags. Nice variety. This is a cutlery shop. Some small small shops. Basically, basically of the same things. So we have just come from this lane. This is an uh, Indian uh, Indian shop here, grocery, which has Maggie. Maggie we don't get in Bhutan but in this Indian store we are getting Maggie so that the Bhutanese people can enjoy the uh, noodles of India, the ethnic noodles of India. Maggie, everyone's loves. Mm. This is one more um, great cutlery shop. These are intense incense sticks, Bhutanese. These are all lots of cutlery. Whole one lot. This is very unique. I think I should get one. See, it looks very beautiful. We have another color here. I think that's a yellow color. You can get one for one each, I guess. It can be good to serve guests at home. This can really be used to mm, eat ramen noodles. This is very good. Looks very good. I think I can use it in my cooking channel. But I. Okay, this is a product of Thailand. Mm. This looks like some snacks uh, that we have in Guwahati. But um, I think we should have one. This is electrical and hardware shop. These are some winter pants. This is a pizzeria. No idea of the name. Means no idea how to pronounce it. So we're trying to see what type of shoes are available here. This is one of the shoe shops in Bhutan. So we enter the shop. Have a look at what's there. Beautiful mm. shoes, a lot of variety. Let's see if you can buy something. Of course, we found it relatively a little costlier than Guwahati, of course. And if you are going often going to Bangkok, you'll find it costlier still. They have some shops with bags beautiful bags there see these are unique pieces that we can get only in Bhutan so I don't this is a chicken is a chicken budia especially from Bhutan Mm. So how's the taste? Nice, very nice. So basically it's a very small township and a very silent one in comparison from to Guwahati where we come from. So you get small necessities of life like this. You have small shops and reasonably priced. The price itself price is not much. So we all also have a I think we have a local uh, bakery here which can I guess we need to have a look at the local bakery. Okay. We're gonna have a look at them. Some biscuits? Yeah. Trying to buy some local products. Let's see how it goes. We're waiting for some more sweet biscuits made in Bhutan. In a small shop that you get. We have pastries, simple pastries here. Yeah. But hill stations and places like Bhutan, we always feel that we'll get better bakery products. This is how the township looks. Very silent, very clean. And one or two stray cars coming by. So all of these will, by 8.39, will shut down. And, oh, well, there's a shoes shop. And I think I should have a look at 
what type of shoes we get there and uh, it seems uh, they open very early around 8 30 in the morning you'll have the, sh the shops open let's visit so let's see what type of shoes we get here so as i said here in Bhutan as well as in the other part that is uh, Samduk Jongka we just found out that the shoes are very highly priced shoes are not reasonable very very costly into the uh, vegetable market we need to walk down very very rough steps till we get to what looks like a dimly lit uh, vegetable market let's have a look at what type of vegetables you get here I always have a fascination for these local markets they seem so rustic and nice yes you see it's a big place where we have all the ladies yeah it's normally i guess the ladies who are doing the selling here yeah. all the greens here i look at the chilies there huge chilies that you get the local products being sold as I told you most of them are ladies and here oh, finally we have one man selling right I think this is something unique what a kilo or this one half kilo 40 okay these are beans Okay, so it means <coughs> the huge Radish. turnips, yeah, radish. Okay, one piece. So this finally we have one. We are buying some uh, beans, different types of beans here. Pure organic beans from Bhutan. What is the local? Local. 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 Oh, ye kaha ka hai? Ye apka wo? Oh, apple. Apples? Uh, Bhutan ka. Apple bhi Bhutan ka hai. Wo kitna ka hai kilo? Hundred rupees. Hundred rupees. Ye mita hota hai? Taste karna hai. Motor kitna motor? Motor hai. Kaha hai motor? Kya hai? Kal fresh hai ka kya? Subeh mein fresh. Aaj kal fresh hai. 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 Aaj पोटेटो so let's taste this time go back home and taste Bhutan's potatoes so in my next cooking videos hopefully you'll see some of these potatoes being used come YouTube video on our whole world they can get up a video YouTube they say my video go subscribe KJ okay Cooking and travel by Dr. Papuri Boro. हम हम लिख के देंगे, आप देखेंगे। आप आपका वीडियो अपलोड करेंगे। भैया, हमको सिक्सटी मिलना है ना? अब चार किलो दे दो, फोर किलो। ये अनियंस भी यहाँ का है? अनियंस यहाँ का है? नहीं, बाहर का। बाहर का आता है। Import from Sicily। फोर किलो सर? फोर किलो। So नेक्स्ट टाइम हमारा कुकिंग चैनल है उसमें आपका पोटेटोज़ यूज़ करेंगे 
आप वो चाहे जब अपलोड होंगे आप देख लीजिए ठीक है आपका हिसाब बिल्कुल ठीक है मैडम आपका हिसाब देखो पूरा सब्सक्राइब किया है ना वे हाँ हो गया ठीक है आप भी आओ रेसिपी आएंगे ठीक है हाँ यहाँ पे कितना है एट्टी रुपीस एट्टी रुपीस और वहाँ पे वन फिफ्टी सिलिकुरी सीजन टाइम में तो होता है टू हंड्रेड किलो अभी सीजन हो गया पूरा को आप ओ ये ग्रीन पीस का बने ग्रीन पीस ग्रीन पीस लो बने क्यों इतना नहीं पाएंगे सुबह में तो खोल जाएंगे कितना बजे खोल रहे सिक्स सिक्स क्लॉक आफ्टर सिक्स टू रात हम इतना जल्दी नहीं उठेंगे ठीक है फिर थैंक यू ह्यूज मार्केट है क्यू सी इनसेंट पीपल आर वेरी गुड इनसेंट लुक वेरी इनसेंट and so here we have oh a to lo asun a to a to a to a to a to yeah this one no mate bhukai jabo na okay doni a to ne okay so we have tomorrow i think we should be another visit before leaving so that we can get some fresh things here e bhukhi hoy what are these these is ये क्या है हा? ये क्या है नाम तो पता नहीं हमको नहीं मिलता वहाँ पे लुक एट द्यूज साइज So here we have another one. See if all the ladies, huh? Ha ha ha. Kita. Iti. Iti. Okay, you can do. Light to light to light to light to light. Apko light hai? Diya, tumhe to diya. Motor 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 se. Ase diya na. Have a look at the broccoli. It's quite cheap comparatively. Talking about the quality. तेरे ना ही तो कर रहे हैं तेरे का पूरा लाइट तो लाइट सुनिए तुम लोग साइड में ना लगे तो है तो है ना है तेरे लोग दीज़ है डी ब्रोकोली इस दे एटी रुपीस पर किलो सो गुड बाय आई गेस वी आर बाइंग सम लोकल चीज इट्स नॉन एस दासी दासी ना क्या बोलता है उसे दासी ये कितना टू हंड्रेड नहीं नहीं मैंने मालूम किया दो 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 पीस दो टू पीसेस फॉर टू वन हंड्रेड टू पीस आ नहीं साइड डी बिग ब्लू सुबह तो हम बिग ब्लू ब्लैक कलर इट स्टेज ओके फॉर वन वीक इट सेम्स विदाउट बीइंग रेफ्रिजरेटेड पंकी वी हैव सम सी ये वी हैव सम ये ग्रीन प How much for the green peas? The green peas? Fifty. Fifty. Here there are some dry fish available. Back after the shopping, and this is how the resort looks. Small and cute one, and a little bit of lighting, so it looks grand and nice, welcoming. Hey friends, uh, we have just got out of our hotel uh, and uh, now we are in the Gelefu town. So let's move. Look at this. Long live our majesties. Let's move to the, this part of the town. Come. Look at this long clock tower. There are some things which are exported from India. This is an Indian shoe store. 
these are some paint stores. Uh, these paints and these things we get in India. But some things are really unique here, like the Zintak nozzles. Uh, and here, these are these crackers are not from India. These are Bhutanese. This is kind of a traditional place, but I don't know what is this. This is a park. Yesterday I saw some kids playing here badminton and football. Uh, these, so these shops design are very good. Salon. My mom is thinking to buy Tego, traditional Bhutanese dress. I just thought of visiting the local market. It's a Sunday. Necessarily, it will be very, very colorful. So we thought we'll begin. We'll just go through and check out on the different things available here in the market. Apart from the vegetables, we also have the vegetable market because it's Sunday. It's full of light. You get everything of all sorts. So here we also have, uh, I guess, these are all plastic goods that we get. Plastic. And trying to see if you can get something out of it. Okay, bigger ones. Small things, beautiful ones. So, here these are all local goods being sold and local vegetables. And uh, it's a very, 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 very busy Sunday morning for the people. You can see, nice. Great variety of goods, things which we not sometimes we do not see in the Hati, I guess. So these are things which I do not know the names of. And all sorts of spices also. You have mushrooms, white mushrooms, and chilies, the garlic, and a lot of green vegetables. Very fresh, garden fresh. And, and most of them, as I said earlier, they are run by. Yeah, things are being sold by the ladies. And I think here in uh, we do not, we, they are not allowing to use uh, plastics. So mostly we have people carrying bags for shopping. And, Nice sight of uh, local vegetables, vegetable market. Then this road, simple road, uh, almost uh, rugged road leads to uh, the line of cars. As I told you we, uh, in my earlier video, they have to really park the cars wherever they are allotted. Otherwise they will be heavily charged. This is Ashok Hotel where you can get good vegetarian food and you get a thali in a reasonable price as 100 rupees and uh, it will also include everything like one dal, one local dish, everything so you can have a nice uh, lunch or dinner here if you want it cheap and reasonable and also tasty. So we've come to the end of the trip. To Gal uh, we had been to Galifu yesterday, we have been there and now we are waiting for the papers to be we get back the papers. This is the last gate from where we will go out. This is the gate where we will go out th from, uh, from Galifu to India and we had submitted our papers. Means, uh, I'm talking about the passports. We had to deposit our passports, so you can also de bring about your voter ID cards and deposit it here and collect it back after taking a token. Collect it back on your way back to um, India. So I can say it's bye bye, Galifu. It's the end of the journey to Galifu, and it was a wonderful journey. And we did a lot of shopping also, nice place for shopping and nice place for beautiful scenic, uh, you know, scenic experiences.
just that we do not have many tourist spot here that is the only one thing that's you can say is a problem here we do not have any tourist spot here and uh, you know we have uh, something called the brewery here where because the, the beer is the only uh, thing that is very cheap here but uh, we couldn't go to the brewery, brewery because it was a Sunday and therefore it was a holiday and um, we could not get into any tourist spot of it attraction because there are not many otherwise if you want to have a relaxing holiday and stay overnight uh, Twin Dragon is one of the best places today we, we enjoyed the food everything there and the, and the people there are also very they are also very uh, receptive and they're really very helpful so in a way it's bye bye to Gallup food Passports, and now we are taking a route out of Kelifu. So, in a way, it's bye bye to this beautiful place. Nice people, nice food, and very quiet atmosphere. It's a time you can relax if you come and stay here overnight. 